The independent restaurant sector wants the authorities to bump the curfew up an extra hour. Their argument is that most of their patrons show up to dinner at what is now closing time. Authorities recently revised the 7 p.m. curfew start time to 9 p.m. to suppress the spread of COVID-19. This requires that all businesses cease operations by 8 p.m. in order to curb movement past 9 p.m. We take we take in what we were given at this point uh, because of, as Norani said, the sector was suffering big time, uh, mainly our employees. Uh, we recommended to the to the Nemo uh, committee to extend it to ten to the ten p.m., which will make it easier for you know staff movement and the business per se. Uh, at this point in time, what you see is that for dinner purposes, most of the customers come around seven thirty, quarter to eight, and by that time we are already forced to close. Uh, because we, not, we need to engage in uh, you know, transportation and ensure that our staff reach on time home. Curfew hours will temporarily revert to the 7 p.m. to 4 a.m. time frame during the Easter holidays to discourage mass gatherings and stem the spread of COVID-19. Chair of the Independent Restaurants, Food and Beverage Suppliers at the SLHDA, Wadi Zak Auer, hopes the authorities will give the recommendations consideration after the holidays. In previous discussion, um, the committee, the NEMO has agreed that they're going to review the measure and then maybe after Easter, they will be extended to 10 p.m. Apart from the economic downturn from the pandemic, the sector was dealt another blow. Zach Auer believes that losing the Arc Plus event to Grenada is a stark reminder that the destination is competing on a global scale. Well, the main event is always the main arc. Uh, obviously, losing a, an event like R Plus is not a, is not a good news. Uh, we need to understand, uh, and our authorities need to understand, that St. Lucia is also competing with other islands. Uh, so protocols, easy movement of, of tourism, it will play a role when you know all these organizers decide where to go. Uh, the beauty on this is that we gain another another event through ARC. Uh, I think it's ARC Family. Um, I'm not sure the name exactly. Uh, but we, we lost one, we gained another one. Uh, but this should be more like a wake-up call for all of us uh, in regards to how we move forward and, and realize that we have Grenada competing, Barbados competing, and even Antigua competing for the same market. The restaurant sector has been constrained by the reopening and partial closing of the economy over the past year. Establishments have been forced to find creative ways to prepare food and pursue external business activities to survive during the COVID-19 era. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.